Hello, I'm Anthony Gismondi, and we're following a year in the life of a BC wine grower. Each season, we look in on four wine growers around the province to experience some of the typical seasonal tasks and learn why and when they are done. This summer, we begin in Lake Country at a vineyard so new it's yet to have an official name. It belongs to the well-known Cedar Creek Estate Winery about 30-minute drive south in East Kelowna. Winemaker Taylor Whalen and viticulturalist Kurt Simchik discuss a number of decisions that go into the final weeks of ripening their steep slope Pinot Noir vineyards. I'm here at uh, our Lake Country Vineyard. It's a new vineyard for us, first crop producing this year. Uh, we expect it to be a very unique vineyard. So we don't have anything in Lake Country at this point. All of our Pinot is coming from East Kelowna and, and Naramata. We think this is a very unique site. We're really excited to explore what kind of quality of fruit we get here. We are making some important decisions today, so we're looking at what kind of cropping level do we want to achieve in this young vineyard. So you never want to overcrop young vines, uh, especially when we've worked so hard to establish the vineyard at this point. We want to kind of baby them into fruit production. So we're going to go through this vineyard and pretty religiously drop crop to achieve a certain level that we feel is appropriate for the vine age here. So our Lake Country vineyard that we purchased in 2017 has been managed organically since then. Um, being an organic vineyard, um, it doesn't mean we can just walk away from the property. We and have a lot of activities we have to um, do throughout the season all the normal activities but also in this high density vineyard we're concerned about airflow and powdery mildew pressure so we tighten our spray margins we still spray sulfur to protect our vines particularly if the uv is a little bit low which we're having this year um, and then we what we're going to do today was we're going to do a bit of fruit removal and we're going to work on the morning side of the vines and remove a few leaves to help with that airflow, but also ensure that our products hit the, hit the target that we want them to. So at the moment, we're definitely in a period of high powdery pressure. So removing a bit of leaf is going to help us protect the vines. We can see this vineyard obviously is set up a little bit differently than a lot of the vineyards you would have seen. This is what we call a high density vineyard. So. The spacing is 1.2 meters by 0.9 meters, which is very, very tight. And to be able to effectively manage a vineyard like this, we need to use special equipment. So we've brought in uh, tractors, which we can see down there behind me, which are manufactured in Northern Italy. Uh, they're called gyres, And they're built to be able to manage very, very tight row spacing like this. So they're literally about this wide. Um, and we're using them for mowing, we're using them for spraying, we're using them for weed removal as well. Everything essentially we do here, uh, we're using those tractors because of the row spacing and you can see how steep it is as well. They're tracked tractors so they can make it up these hills for us as well. So the wee guy machine you've seen moving up and down the rows here is busy mowing. If it's not mowing it's been unvine weeding. And the reason we have to do that um, consistently on this property is to, to help us with our airflow. If we can keep the weeds down and keep the grasses down and mowed low, it helps, helps that airflow, helps protect everything. So we have to stay on top of it. We've got a low fruiting wire. Um, as you can see here, we're only sort of half a metre off the, off the ground, so weeds can get up into that canopy really quickly. So we have to stay on top of it, otherwise we have to pull it out by hand. Next up, 90 minutes south, a mobile bottling line empties the tanks, making room for the upcoming 2021 crop. And we learn about the importance of shoot positioning and leaf thinning at the Maramata Bench Boutique, Roche Wines. 